All right then my friends, so in the last video we looked at how the merging algorithm works and in this video we shall write a really small program to understand how merging works. So let's get started. So firstly I'll be defining both the lists A and B which are to be merged. I could have taken the input from the user but for now let us just define them right here. So let list A be having the elements 2, 4, 6, 8 and let the list B have the elements 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So the merged list that is the list C should have the elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 in that order. So let's now write the merge function. So in Python for defining a function we use the keyword def. So as we saw in the working video, merge takes four arguments, that is the two lists and the length of both the lists. So list 1, list 2, m and n. Here m and n are the lengths of list 1 and list 2 respectively. After writing the function, we'll be calling the function and pass a, b and the length of a and length of b respectively to the merge function. So that's how functions work in Python. Okay, so we saw in the working video that we need to have three variables i, j and k to iterate to the lists a, b and the list c respectively. And initially all three are initialized with the value 0, which is the index of the first element. So i is equal to 0, j is equal to 0. Note that we do not need to have k because in Python, instead of storing the index of the positions in array c we can directly use the inbuilt append function which will just add an element in the next position to a list so we just need i and j right now all right then now we need to include a while loop here so that we can iterate through the lists a and b and make the required comparisons and put the correct elements in the list c so while i is less than m and j is less than n we are going to do the comparison right now and we are going to use the if statement here so if list one of i is less than or equal to list two of j so if this condition is true then we are going to put this element into the array c so for that we have got to use the append built-in function so c dot append list one of i and don't forget that we have to move on from i, so we are going to increment i by 1. And if the condition is false, we are going to append this element right here into the list c. So c dot append list 2 of j. And here we are going to move on from j, so j plus equal to 1. So that does it. Now we have accounted for most of the elements in the arrays a and b and now we have to account for the leftover elements and for that if you recall from the working video we have got to use two separate for loops one for list a and one for list b so for p in range i comma m since we need to iterate from the i index to the mth index we are using this and and since the elements are already in the sorted order they can be put as it is into the list c. So c dot append list one of p for q in range j comma n c dot append list two of q. So yeah, now we have also accounted for the lists a and b and all the elements will be put into the list c. So that does it guys, this completes the merge function and now all we need to do is we need to print the arrays a, b and c. So first we can actually print the array c inside the merge function itself. So print c, I'll just print the list as it is right now and we can actually print a and b over here. So print a and print b. So now the lists a, b and c will be printed. But one important part of the program is left out and that is 
that we should call the function merge. So how do we call merge? All you have to do is write the name of the function followed by the arguments passed into the function. So in place of list1 we'll have a, in place of list2 we'll have b and mnn will be the lens of a and b. So len of a, len of a and len of b. So that does it. The program should now work. And let's test the program. Okay. So we have the list A, 2468. The list B is 13579. And the list C is 12356789. And it is also sorted and contains all the elements of A and B. So our program has worked. So that's it for this video, guys. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll be looking at the merge sort algorithm. Bye for now. See you in the next video.